Hey, what's up, guys? <coughs> hey, what's up, guys? Ashley here, and welcome to, or welcome back to my channel, Just the Waiter Next Door. Narration boys. Uh. Happy doing good, happy tea, happy cops, good, and all that, yeah, all that jazz. Thanks to all the new subscribers, and thanks to those sticking around. But here lately, it might have been the hurricane, it's just the energetic field and shit, the gravity was increasing on me, and I was just fucking tired, you know? Let me know if you were feeling the same way. And let, I hope y'all are safe out there. I don't know where the hurricane is now. I, don't, I try to avoid the news as much as possible. And, yeah. If you want a private reading, check the description box below. One question is $1.11, three questions, $3.33. If you're questioning my prices, like this is sketchy, she must be shit. No, no, I'm not. I don't consider myself shit. <laughs> you can check out my website for testimonials. They don't like them shit. I just know what it's like not to have a lot of money, but need answers. It's that simple. And you follow me on Instagram. Uh, I hold a giveaway every Sunday, so that will be tomorrow. Today is Saturday. Giveaway on Instagram. Yeah. For those of you who are getting worked up now, because I just saw one, two, three, and that means multiple things to me, but the meaning right now is take a few deep breaths, calm down. Maybe you come to watch my videos to calm down. I don't know. So it just, you have the ability to stay calm, to not let your anxiety, your thoughts get the better of you. You have the control over that. So just breathe. Everything's going to be fine. You're good. Okay. Okay, so for today, we have three piles you can pick from. I don't know what I'm doing, ever. When I was going for a walk, this little dude, it's not really little, but my guides kept yelling at me to pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. So I finally gave in and picked it up. It was, at first I picked it up and like, okay, I release you, thank you for the message, but I release you. No, pick it up. So here we are. The black and white means change. This is group one. Group two, little gray feather. By the way, these are all feathers I found. Like these last year, this one recent. You anyway, know, gray means peace for group two. And group three, red means love is in the air. Okay. Let's get started. I think that's all I need to say. No. I don't know. I, I just don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Group one. Hi. How do you do? I'm just going to throw some cards. If you're wondering, why not just do that? I just woke up not too long ago. Bear with me. In case you're wondering which decks I'm using, I have that in a blog post linked somewhere in the description box. This is House of Night, Wisdom of the House of Night. Their yeah, energies recharge. Energies recharge. I want that one. Just felt drawn to this, so I pulled it out. 26 could mean something to you. 62. That's honesty. You even say what today's reading was about. That's what I was forgetting. Well, I'm sure you know by the title. What is going to manifest? I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> God, not of practice. So, some kind of truth. And you got the high priestess of air on the bottom, which is intellect, honesty, honesty. So, something you, you're gonna get answers soon. Could just be you're gonna get a download. Could be someone's gonna message you. You. Someone's finally going to confess. Could be confessing feelings. Confess, confessing. Confessing they did something years ago that you got blamed for. This is a scenario I'm seeing. It could be an actual scenario for some. It could just be a metaphor. Like you were kids. Okay, this is what happened with me. I'll just use that one. My sister cut up my mom's pocketbook strap, an expensive one, and she blamed it on me. 
I was a baby. I was asleep in my crib or my car seat. Yeah, I totally get it. <laughs> Something like that, but you were older and you took the blame and everyone believed it was you. That kind of situation. So I might confess to that. Like, okay, I did it. I'm sorry, I fucked up. Okay, what? It's going to mannequins for group one. Old friend coming back. You could have just lost touch, like moved away type situation. I don't think it was anything too dramatic. But you just lost touch and they might be moving back into the picture or if you're still friends with them, it could just be your friendship is going to grow. You might be going through some shit. Someone you know might be going through some shit and it's just a it's gonna be a bonding experience. It's gonna make you grow closer. Keep in mind, this is general. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, you can pick another pile. Or there are plenty of amazing tarot readers out there. On the YubaTube. Okay, what else is going to manifest? One. Going to be manifesting you some meditations. With that... It could be you get in the flow of things and meditate on a regular basis. That kind of thing. Get into that good cycle system. Routine. That's the one I'm looking for. But all routines are cycles. So everything is a cycle. Thinking thoughts. Focusing. You're going to find either that routine or you're just going to have that, that aha moment that comes with a download. And you're just going to be chill and going to be in alignment. Look at the, the straight up shit. Just in al alignment. That. It's alignment, apparently. What else? If you have been searching for answers, you're going to find it. Like, you're going to stop. Finally be like, okay, fuck it. I'm done. I don't care anymore. I don't care. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. You're just going to be in a peaceful state. Probably washing dishes or just sitting on the porch. Something on the porch, just outside, just just gonna be chilling, listening to music, and it's just gonna hit you, and you're gonna be like, oh, I knew that all along. Shit, I duh. Soul knows the answers, it knows the truth, but the ego is, is the bullshitter. We needed ego to cope and to deal with the bullshittery of the earth, but now you don't. Because soul is strong and you can just, I don't know. Soul is stronger so you can deal with shit on your own and not feel the need, the urge to fit into society's social norms. You can stand up for yourself and not be afraid of banishment, shunning. And we've all been in that. This scenario I'm seeing like in school, when you're not wearing the whatever's in style, and people just making fun of you, or you gotta do this to be accepted. Everyone's went through a phase of that. And you got movement, so. I'm moving here. <sighs> you could actually be moving houses, moving jobs, or just moving and getting closer to your higher self and more alignment and healing those wounds and battling the ego. And you're probably gonna be getting a lot of past life memories because a reminder, don't forget, I'm just like, I see a flash, someone else having a flashback of something that happened past life or it could be the past. Okay, that's all we're done. A joke so old that still amuses me. Hmm. So you could be seeing a lot of nines, 29, and that means cycle completion. 
that you're going to be closing a cycle. It could have been something that's went down in your family forever. Basically, group one, you're going to be getting answers. You're going to get that download you've always been wanting, that you've been searching for and searching for, but it's just right there under your nose. You just can't see it because just because of the bullshittery. Can I tell group one? Going to be clarifying with mm. other tarot deck here and on Oracle. Can I tell them? Hermit. Eight of Wands. Eight of Chalices. You could be seeing a lot of eights too. The Magician. Yeah, exactly. You be Ace of Swords on the bottom. You have been doing that healing and that contemplation <laughs> and throwing cards. The time of contemplation and reflection and all that. So, should it Alignment. They just keep say, saying alignment. That's what you're going to manifest. You're going to be closer to alignment and you're probably going to find your life purpose soul mission. It could be reading tarot, it could be a counselor, it could be any number of things, but you're going to find it. I was wondering when she would start. Sorry, my cat's in heat. Okay, what last piece of advice can I tell you? Uh, yeah, we know that. Star seed. Moon goddess's blessing. I just keep hearing follow the moon. Maybe you're really into space. Star seed. Space. You're really into that. I know, kitty. I'll be back. I am back. She wanted to go in the garage. Okay. So you could be really into astrology, the moon, moon cycles. Maybe you just want to study the moon. You don't know exactly what it is. Too much. Too much happened. What else piece of advice can I give them? Follow your heart, follow the moon. Are you the type that just, when it's actually night outside, when you see the moon, and you can just you just stare up at it and zone out? I do that. I keep hearing moon cycles. Maybe you want to teach about moon cycles. Maybe the moon cycles will help you in what you're trying to manifest. And you get, you know, and the unicorn on the bottom. Also, I just saw 111. And that might mean, I don't remember. I just straight up don't remember. Look it up. It might mean something to you. And I just saw one, two, three again. So that number synchronicity means either one step at a time, baby steps, slow down, chill out, or your life mission, your purpose here is very important. So don't give up. Keep at it. And you yeah, know, you yeah, know. I want to point out that's the Buddha symbol for enlightenment. I don't know why. I think right here. In case you were wondering. So what you're manifesting is a download. Something you've been looking for. It could be a download of a person.
download the message. It's just some kind of download. I'm not sure. Because it's general. So it's multiple messages. That is... All I'm getting for you. If you want a private reading, check the description box below. And I thank you for watching. Bye. Group 2. Those who want peace. Or drawn to peace. If you're wondering which cards I'm using, there's a link to a blog post about it. What is group two manifesting? You might be wanting to manifest a man. That's what I just heard. What is group two manifesting? A man? Be a twin flame soulmate or I don't know. A friend, I don't know. But you know, if you chase it and you just constantly wonder, worrying, wondering about said person, they, they're gonna run. If you're solely focused on one thing, you're not living life, and therefore you're not being happy and living life to its fullest. So you're just creating more conflict within yourself when you're just hoping for the same thing over and over, but you're not changing in the process of hoping for it. I hope this is making sense. Telling group. What am I telling? What is this group two manifesting? Manifester. Three of Pentacles. It could be a new job, or you're thinking about becoming an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. And maybe, or just creating your own business, and you're finally going to be getting those people to help you with that. Three's a party. Three of cups. It's a celebration party. Storm. I do. You're okay if you're hungry. Eat. And you got the world. <laughs> Damn. Be back, I don't know if this is copyright friendly. Hello, again, group two. This is, a, this is about business, could be about a person, but a mainly feeling business. You want to create your own business, do your own thing. Looking forward to that future with the three, that's not pentacles. Wands. Yeah, wands. I just see like a small business. Business, business, business. That's what you're manifesting. It could be you just want to write for yourself. Like you just want to write stories. Be your own boss, that type of thing. Or screenwriter, playwriter. You just want to create your own thing, be an entrepreneur. <laughs> yeah, the world, judgment, magician. And the two, four, six, eight, eight wands. You manifest in job, career, that financial abundance. You're probably seeing a lot of eights. Like number synchronicities, you're seeing a lot of eights. So what you've been working so hard for it's finally it's, that door's gonna open it's just gonna blow your hair back and you're gonna be fucking amazed what 
fruit to the fisting. I just can't. You might feel like everything's falling apart right now and you're trying to hold your shit together. The impression I got when the cards slipped all over the place. It's like you're on trying to walk on ice. Group two going to manifest. Manifest. Six of Pentacles could be going into a partnership with an old friend, colleague, Eight of Swords, or you already were and you felt obligated to stay with them for whatever reason, or you felt stuck, in, or it could be an old flame, a relationship, you felt stuck in that scenario, and you got the sun. In the fool. Damn. Knave of Swords. Nine of Chalices. Damn. The Sun and the Fool, and right side by side. This is the most positive card in the deck, and this is New Beginnings taking that leap of faith finally saying fuck you I'm done I break free of these chains you're not you just you can't tame me no I'm finally getting all your wishes fulfilled and naturally there's gonna be some negative with the positive you might have to let someone go let something go could be a romantic person you have to let go or a romantic person you're going to find with the four of wands on the bottom, on the bottom of this deck. Four of wands, three of wands on this one. I'm gonna tell group two that they are manifesting. If it's not actual work work, it could just be a partner, a romantic partner. I feel like it's someone you're going to go into business with. Cycle. Change. Angel. Elemental. Hashtag woke. You'll be opening some kind of spiritual shop together. Or just following your passion. Whatever you are passionate about. Elementals are very passionate. And fiery. Don't let anything hold them back once they finally feel that taste of freedom. Star seed again. That does not fit in here. I think they just threw that out to get me to stop shuffling. Finally breaking free of the cycles, changing your perspective, changing all the things, and this is why the just I feel like you're gonna be running or the you and the financial abundance or what you've been your goal, your end goal is like running towards you at the same time and you're just gonna collide. It's gonna be magical as fuck. Just whatever you've been working for, that dream, that goal, it's there. Hell, it could be some kind of tri tri triathlon. And you're literally running towards the finish line. It's whatever the goal is, that's what's coming. Could be to get, no. I was gonna say it could be to get a promotion. No, this is for those who are wanting to do their own business, follow their true passions, go out in the world on their own, maybe with some friends, partners, or maybe some friends to help you financially. Give you a loan type deal. Or could have a friend who's in that industry and they can point you in the right direction. That's what's making you get, you know, I hope you understand my gestures and sound effects. Okay, that. Is all I'm getting for you? Question mark. 
I always feel there's more that needs to be said because there's so many of you. But I'm only one person and there's a lot of you. So, you know. If you want a private reading, check the description box below and follow me on the Instagram where I go. I have a giveaway every Sunday. Those are the words I'm looking for. Giveaway for a free reading. And when I reach 1,000 subscribers, I just might either have a giveaway for a few or go live. There's going to be something that's going to go down. I'm not sure which. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Group 3, hello. So, what are you about to manifest into your life? What are you about to manifest? Manifest into your life. I saw that one. Change keeps coming up because I'm using my own oracle cards I'm working on. What do you know? There it is again. In every pile, change has came out. And you know, obviously that's what you're about to manifest because manifestation is about change in even the slightest aspect, something new, some kind of download is going to shift your perception, perspective, or you're going to change and just, and that new, just manifestation, it's about change, obviously. <laughs> Hello Storm, how are you today sir? You're going to do your normal routine, come over here, let me scratch your butt, then you're going to go eat. I wish I could show you his expression. <laughs> Stand by. And we're back. It's great theory about to manifest. And like the most magical hour of all. In the direction of oh okay so this is some kind of thing you were scared of facing bless you hope that wasn't too loud sorry the roommate sneezing okay something you're like scared of facing you're gonna face your dark fears and then like oh it could be love and then you're just like ding 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 always love always maybe you're scared of opening being vulnerable with someone scared of those blind spots scared if they hurt you again like people probably have in the past but that cycle is going to end there you're going to realize not everyone is out to get you not everyone is going to hurt you it's <laughs> focusing on this card like you know when the face square rectangle thing pops up it's dun, 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 death it's gonna happen around winter time but it's gonna happen around fall time winter sickness of pausing could be that you need to pause and reflect on why you're so scared of the unknown scared of why are you scared? Why are you scared of what you're scared of? Why do you feel you have to know A, B, C, D of the plan? The plan that you laid out, might I add. Because even if you're not going to end up with like a twin flame, you have high ranking soulmates that you could end up with. So your higher self self laid out all the possibilities for you, wrote it out how each scenario would go. You have to trust in the universe, trust in yourself, that your higher self self knows what you it y'all doing. <laughs> okay. Too many. Light after darkness. 
bottom. That word right there that I can't say. And sacred sweetness and synergy. Wanted to say the sacredness of pausing again. Pausing to reflect. Just pause, reflect. You definitely have love coming in. I just got a whoosh of that energy, the loving, accepting energy that is about to unfold right in front of you. You could have already met this person. You could be about to meet this person. They might message you on the social medias. Getting distracted. You ever just see candle wax like stuck on a table or something? You just have to... trying to show you what thumbnail scraping it's just there I have to get it but yeah that type of situation we're focusing sorry I'm more than one person apparently oh yeah anyway this is the love that you've been dreaming of but you are scared to open your eyes to it and face it scared of those blind spots Unnecessary. Why are you so scared? Just because one thing happened with one person, it's not going to happen with a different person. You may have broke someone's heart, and you're scared of doing that again. They might have broken your heart, and you're scared someone's going to do that to you again. Cycles only replete, replete, repeat if you allow them to. Notice the cycle. Stop it. <laughs> Issues. What else can I tell? Group three. Father. Oh, I'm just having issues. Let's get to group three. Why did I do that? Sacredness of pausing. They keep saying the sacredness of pausing. You might be telling me to slow the hell down. It could be telling you to slow the hell down. Maybe you need to slow down and just take a deep breath. And maybe realize what you want instead of trying to please everyone else. What do you want out of this life? What do you want to see unfold in front of you? Not what other people, not what most people want. What do you want? Can I tell? For a lot of you, you're doing things. <laughs> doing things because it's socially acceptable. You're feeling that pressure to do things when you don't feel it's right could be proposing to a girlfriend, a boyfriend. Yeah, you could propose to a boyfriend if you're female, if you're male, whatever. You're just proposing to someone even though you don't feel it's right, you don't think it's going to last. That type of situation. So crooked. Yeah. Or being with someone even though you feel it's not going anywhere. Continuing on a job. You know, you, you're miserable. You're not following your intuition. Intuition. I forgot intuition was there. You're going with the flow of social norms and what's socially acceptable instead of fighting against it and finding what you want. See this here, owl here? It's not going that way or that way. It's just standing there pausing and trying to figure out which direction to go. As just that moth there. I just watched The Mist and there's that same moth. You know the show, The Mist? Yeah, when that moth. I'm going to say, came out of that dude's back. I just yelled out, Stephen King! Because Stephen King is one twisted motherfucker, but so entertaining. I want to, I just want to have a conversation with him, you know? 
Like, where is your mind at? What's going on? I'm getting distracted always. Moths also mean transformation, or is it the finding the light? Moths might mean something to you. You might love them. That's why I could have brought it up. Look up spiritual meaning of moths. Two of wands. Finding which direction to go in. Sacredness of pausing. Chill the fuck out. Figure out what you want instead of what everyone else wants. It's still focusing right here. Four of chalices. Forgot. I just forgot. I want to say this is something else, but it's not, I don't believe. I'm going to look it up. I'm a professional who sometimes can't remember. If you're wanting to read tarot, bam. Get this from biddytarot.com. Biddy Tarot, free printable. Yeah, meditation, contemplation, apathy, reevaluation. So basically, the hermit card. I kept wanting to say it's you're looking the glass half empty type thing. Like there's some amazing things around you, but you're only seeing the negative shit. That could be a, what you're doing too. So yeah, I read it then. There's the magician again. Magician and change in every. every deck I got was those two. The magician is obviously manifestation. The master of all knowledge. And you get four of wands. That person's coming towards you. Could just be coming towards you and wanting to be friends to start off with. Could be seeing a lot of twos and fours as well. They want me to lay out more cards. Wasn't going to, but you know. King of Pen nope, Knave of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. That was rude. Just rude. group but they're manifesting queen of pentacles too many ten of pentacles six of wands even. It's bothering me. <sighs> Financial independence. That's what you're looking for now. This person could help you with that and point you in the right direction or inspire you to go in the right direction because you might already know which direction to go in. I just know this person is going to support you in whatever you want to do. Strength, three of cups, and eight of wands. You could be seeing a lot of eights as well. Probably seeing a lot of number synchronicities. It's like you are so close to finding your sole purpose and to finally getting there. I feel like it's just like right there. You're just not quite seeing it yet.
my elbow just popped. You're manifesting your life partner. Tell group three got moon. And you know, Val. You probably, you, you feel them. You probably feel the same energy I'm feeling. Or you just see, keep seeing synchronicities. Could be with numbers. Could be just in general. Like you think of someone and they message you. Or you see them. Love. are coming to you. It's like you're going to be surrounded by so much abundance you're just going to probably want to break down because you've had a shit time here on earth so far. I've had to face a lot of obstacles. Be positive. Follow those passions. Keep breaking those karmic ties, and guess what? You got strength again. You are strong enough to handle all the shit being thrown at you. And what do you know? It's change. So you are strong enough to make it through this shit. And what you're manifesting is your life partner and soul purpose. Your life partner could have to do with your sole purpose could have to do with your life partner you could go at it together to be sexual uh, yeah that is all i'm getting for you if you want a private reading check the description box below and if you uh, want to enter a contest tomorrow on sunday for a free reading follow me on instagram and just got a comment on the post So, thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day. Bye!